hey everybody. I am sitting on the sofa, which if you saw last vlog or any of the recent vlogs, you know means that it's time for a progress update on the apartment organization. Why am I pointing? Also, this not a lot of sunlight here right now. <laughs> it gets dark at like 4 p.m. So there's no light fixtures here either because in this country, light fixtures are part of furnishing. It's great because we bought some light fixtures that are our style that we're gonna keep with us moving forward. So that's great. But for now, it's not because <laughs> after 4 p.m. there's not much light. Anyway, it's daylight right now. Let me give you a little tour of where we're at. Starting in this room, since that's where I just was, we have our sofa totally put together. Ignore the like stains and stuff from backs of heads and whatnot. We are getting whole new slip covers for everything, so that's going to be a really exciting transformation of this whole unit. But yeah, look how big our sofa is. <laughs> We're adding on one section here and one section here to make it a little even bigger. And these are actually sofa beds. So they kind of like the bed comes out for guests and whatnot. Anyway, moving along. Here's our one light, but it's currently um, on an American plug, so we can't use it yet. This is in a current state of cleaning, but we've got access to tables. That's great. Look, our TV is set up. Not plugged in because again, it's currently on an American plug. Moving along though, look at this bedroom, totally different. The bed is totally clear, totally accessible bed. It's dirty, but it's clear. So we've had a lot of progress in that front, but everything here now belongs in this room. It's not really done or organized, hello, but it's here. Same with the other bedroom. We did a lot of organizing between the two bedrooms. You can see this bed also, totally accessible, also totally dirty, but both beds were covered in stuff after the movers left. So this is really impressive, I think. But everything in here is also belonging in here now. Except those sound dampeners. I have to vacuum those. Stay tuned for that. The last room is the kitchen, which is also really coming along. You may remember there was this pantry unit full of stuff. It's no longer in this room. It's also no longer full of stuff. Still making progress on the dishes. Justin organized this whole area. This side's kind of still in progress. This side's mostly done though. So all of our cups are living here. All of our plates and bowls living here. And then some more bowls and lesser used plates and stuff like that. And our underneath the sink area is full of underneath the sink kind of stuff. This pantry room thing is where our pantry unit is. It's empty, but it's gross and dirty. Uh, which brings me to my next topic I will need to tackle our vacuum cleaner. Time for an unboxing! Oh, this should be super duper easy, look. Everything is supposed to just click into place. Okay, let's 
but then how does this um, okay easy next is this which clicks to this click um, what's next Ooh, ooh, into here. Click this part. Click. I feel like I'm making like a... Oh god, ooh, oh, well, not right now. Back in the day, Power Rangers, their weapons would like connect together and make this crazy giant thing that would kill the monster. I feel like I'm doing that. Whose weapon is next? Per the guide, the next weapon to attach is this. But I'm first going to use this to clean the pantry. So I'm not going to use the floor, Ooh, the floor attachment yet. This one's cool. I don't know what it does, but it's cool. There's this one. And there's this one. Ooh, and all of these. Ooh, maybe this one. I know this from our other one. Back in the States, and then what's this final thing? Okay, what is this? Oh, oh. Ooh. What's this? There's so many attachments. I mean, we purposely got the one that had a lot of attachments. Oh, maybe this one for the pantry. Now, what I'm curious about is this. It shows that the different attachments can combine themselves. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is literally like a Power Rangers weapon combiner. Oh, oh my gosh. This was supposed to attach to this. Like this. I think, did I not build it? How do, how do, how do? Unless this, oh, this just really is bendy. I don't know if I did this right. Or does this turn? So many languages. Okay, this very clearly has this piece connecting onto this like I have it here, but that does not work at all because then the, the main hose, like it will not connect because this attachment is blocking it. So maybe this image is too generic for the exact model that we have. So I'm just gonna figure something else out. Also, I'm just really hungry. I haven't eaten today yet. So I think I'm going to go back to the temp house have a food break, and then do some vacuuming. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I ate something, cereal. And I actually came back with a reinforcement in terms of this thing. It's the drying rack from our temp place. We did laundry over the weekend. We're not gonna be needing this until next weekend. So why not borrow it? to make our lives a little easier. We're done with the stuff that can dryer. So we only have stuff that is like air dry. So it's kind of bottlenecking with our one drying rack. So second one to save the day. And while I was eating, Justin called me and he told me to try out this thing. This is one of the adapters that we got when we moved to Holland like four or five years ago, like a international to European adapter. So I'm gonna try and plug in the this big lamp and see if it works because I hope it does. It's like 2 p.m. so the sunlight's fading. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, late autumn <laughs> in Scandinavia. Ah. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, light! Oh my god! 
This is a game changer. It's so bright. We have a light. Ah! So even after eating and having coffee and stuff, I still don't understand how something like this is supposed to go here. Hey, Editing Jeff here. I sincerely hope I gave no one the impression that I am intelligent because if I have, then this video really just shatters that whole illusion. Um, I'm sitting here editing this video and I'm just thinking to myself, self, why didn't you just try the other hole? That sounds wrong. Point stands, try the other hole. Came in the pantry. I got this, which was it like attached like here, blocking this whole thing. But not blocked. Wow, what a concept! Wow, look at this. Totally attached. I'm not going to say how long it's been since I filmed that video that we've been using this vacuum with that attachment not on it because I didn't think to try it a different way. So just know that it's been a while. Um, but yeah, lesson learned. Back to you, past Jeff. But you know, whatever. I did figure out what this is thanks to the box. It's a reach under tool, so it goes in between like the sofa and the wall, for instance, and this gently, you know, cleans the sofa surface, let's say, and sucks it up through the side while this gets the very bottom. Awesome. And then like the rest of these will just stay together as a group. Definitely, definitely like a Power Rangers combination weapon. I'm obsessed. So this is the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball. <laughs> and the Big Ball is designed apparently to like push itself back upright if it falls over. So let's test it. I feel like kick it. Oh wow. Yes. Cool. Now there's some parts I didn't take off. Oops. Done, but also on second thought, I think this one is geared more toward detangling hair and stuff. So I'm gonna switch heads. This one that I couldn't figure out how to attach to the vacuum itself feels like the better choice. I was just thinking to myself while vacuuming, what were the choices I made in life that led to me filming myself vacuuming my sofa in Sweden for a vlog that I could feel was organically turning into a vacuum review vlog? What? <laughs> Life is crazy. What am I doing? Anyway, um, back to this vacuum review. Look at all of this. Can you see all of this stuff? This sofa was not quote unquote dirty when we um, had it packed up. Like I cleaned it regularly with the old Dyson vacuum we had, which I think I filmed myself vlogging with in Philadelphia. And if so, you're looking at footage of that right now. 
But this tells me either this new vacuum is much better than the one we had before, which I don't feel is likely. It feels just as suctiony and you know it's Dyson, so whatever. Maybe it's better, I don't know. Or all of this stuff is just gunk and like dust from being packed up and shipped here. If so, that's disgusting. And it's a good thing that I'm doing this before we use it really. I know I filmed myself at the start of this vlog sitting in it, but that's wearing, you know, outside clothes and stuff, not inside clothes, as it were. Anyway, time to use the new attachment. That's too long. Wait, this doesn't, this doesn't fit. I have to use this, I guess. So undo this. Attach this here. Okay, and now this. Okay. All right, let's clean between the sofa. I uh, happened to unlock a new mode for this, which is like a bendy thing. I don't, there's so much to this vacuum. Anyway, I'm gonna try and put it back. Like I don't want it to bend on me. Okay. Uh, verdict on this thing is that I think it's cool, but I wish both sides had the little gentle scrubby thingy. And I think this is not designed for in between the sofa, more like this is the wall, this is your furniture. Which is okay. I don't get why it's one-sided because that means like you have to go at it from a certain direction, which in our case means like from that corner, which is not like super realistic. Uh, I was very excited about this. Verdict is, uh, I don't know. I might just kind of stick more to this one here, which is the attachment that our other vacuum head, just because this also has little side things and it's like both directions. I love this ball design though, because I mean, firstly, yeah, like if it gets knocked over, it doesn't always, it always finds its way back. But also it's just way easier to use because with my upright vacuum, I would always, almost always use this handle attachment anyway, which required taking it out of the canister. But this, the, the canister is just always separate from the hose. So it, I don't know, I think it's just way better. What do you think? People that are a part of the vacuum community. <laughs> also, I just like the power button, how it's like, boop, what's well, unplugged now, but you boop it, and then it just turns on, so that's fun. Although, honestly, now that I'm thinking and not doing, it would be better if it was on this handle. Hmm, but this button for the cord is great. Ta-da, and now it's done. My upright vacuum that I had before, you had to manually like loop up which you also had to unloop if you wanted to take the hose out of the canister. So the power button being away from the handle is okay if it means that the cord does what it does there and that the handle is always separate and ready to use on its own, in my opinion. Please forgive the horrible lighting. It's 4 p.m. so the sun is setting. I'm gonna use this actual traditional vacuum head to clean the, what is this called? Mattress. So let's see how that goes. Mm. Okay, this thing, the hardwood floor cleaner thing, is fantastic, oh my God. So if you see there's like little teeth in a way that block out anything too big for the vacuum. 
while sucking up anything that is, you know, good to be vacuumed. And it's square on the sides, so it gets really nicely into corners. Ah, uh, okay. Final thoughts on this vacuum. Um, I love it. I love the design, I love the attachments. We're gonna be using the hardwood floor one a lot, and then probably this one that I used on the beds for rugs and stuff, since our apartment is all hardwood. Yeah, this thing is light enough to pick up with one hand or just drag and it, you know, correct itself if it falls on its side. Dyson as a brand is just great. We also have an air filter slash fan that we have not unpacked yet, mostly because a fan, when it was like really dusty and gross in here, would have not have been a good idea would have blown dust and stuff all over everything that we've cleaned so far. But um, after doing this first pass vacuuming, now I'm done vacuuming, so I'm probably gonna put it away after I empty this out. If you know Dyson, I think they all operate the same for the vacuums. This kind of comes undone, and then this just gets emptied out. There's no filter to clean or anything. You're not supposed to wash it or anything. It just is what it is, and it's great. And then, one-handed, just put it back. Uh, we love Dyson in this household. That's the bottom line. Uh, from here on out, I'm just going to be focusing more on the dishes and laundry. You can see I've got some stuff on the drying rack that we borrowed today from our temp place that we will return. And gonna keep doing cleaning the next day. Hey guys, last night Justin did come over for a little bit, but we decided to focus on Swedish language. We had to make up last week's course because we were too busy painting the night before all of our stuff was delivered. So we unfortunately couldn't make last week. So last night we made up that by going through what was covered and kind of teaching ourselves to prepare for tonight, which is the regularly scheduled Tuesday evening Swedish language course. Because of that, there's not a whole lot that Justin can really do today to organize. I've spent the day doing, you know, laundry and dishes and stuff, but I did want to say hello to this, which is the very first plant that we have migrated over to our actual apartment. It was a gift from a friend, kind of like a welcome home what's the word when you go to someone's house housewarming present wow maybe they need to take english language courses so kind of thought it would be cute to have this be the first plant that is here and i actually need to water it still I promise we have real watering cans, they're just not clean yet, but we have them. So say goodbye to watering with cups, hopefully soon. Anyway, yeah, I'm almost actually caught up with all the laundry. For the dishes, I can take you back to the kitchen. Ta-da! This whole area that was filled with stuff is now only filled with clean stuff. All the dirty stuff is no longer dirty. Justin, when he was over here yesterday... Ooh, it's bright. Transferred stuff to this pantry area. The random food that we had traveled to here from the States, probably by accident. Plus some cooking things like baking that we're not gonna use as often as stuff we need in the kitchen kitchen. That cleared up a lot of space. So I do still have to take care of this. There's some stuff running in the dishwasher now that is from here. I think tomorrow I will have everything done here maybe, stay tuned. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at here. I'm gonna end the vlog now because I don't really know how long it will take to finish up, what that looks like in terms of clips and video and stuff and we have to go to Swedish class now. But thank you everyone for watching. In this vlog there was cleaning.
vacuuming, questioning life choices, an unboxing, a vacuum review, plants. All that and more next time, but until then, bye.